Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is again vlog, Ernie vlog, and this is my marmoset monkey here. Uh, if you're new here, I make weekly videos of my marmoset monkey. Um, so if that's something you might be interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button there, and also turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new vid. Okay, I just want to thank all of my subscribers for leaving um, comments in this section. You guys are so awesome. Um, you've been leaving so many comments, and I've been able to answer those. And I do appreciate it. The comments that you do leave below, I will be answering those in upcoming videos. So definitely leave more comments down there so I can curate my videos towards whatever comments or you know topics that you guys leave me. So without further ado, uh, today I'm gonna be just doing a, uh, a cage update um, because I have something really big planned for her cage. Um, right now she's 13 weeks old, so she's starting to explore more. Um, and so um, I'm, I have a bigger cage. I actually have already bought it for her. I just haven't set it up because um, I'm going to be um, doing a move here soon and I want to set it up after I move. Hey. Okay, guys. So, probably one of the questions I get asked pretty often, oh, you can go in there, is like, why is her cage so small? So again, when I got her, she was six weeks old, and you don't want a very big cage because um, if you put them in a very big cage, thinking more space is better, it actually can end up hurting them because um, if they end up falling from the top of a ceiling or the um, side of a cage or try to jump too much, they could end up hurting themselves with them being so young. So that's why her cage is so small. But now she's coming into an age where she's becoming a little bit more active, as you can see, and she wants to play. So now I do have our bigger cage. Actually... Here's the, the cage here. When I, um, it's a ferret nation and it's a, um, it's a two tier um, model um, 182. So now when I, when I bought her, I actually bought the cage. So the whole time I've had this cage, I just haven't set it up yet. I've been just waiting for her to become a little bit more active. And also I'm gonna be moving um, soon. So I'd, I'd rather wait until I move into my new place to set this up. So now um, just an update on her cage. Um, she used to have, see so I used to have a water bottle in there but I went ahead and removed that just because it's best for them to drink how they would in nature which would be like out of like a puddle or you know from like a little pond or something like that or a lake um, so these are not that good of an option because she has to press her tongue in and she barely gets any water so what I went ahead and bought was a fountain from exotic nutrition let's see if I can pull this out here and I'll link this below here so it's just a little um, a, a fountain like that and it's pretty cool you tilt it back to fill it up and then when you tilt it forward the water only comes up to the top brim so it won't overflow um, so it's perfect she'll just go up to them and just drink right off of it and she drinks a lot more water here than she did there so I know she likes this a lot better so that's something new here and then also um, I've added on just kind of something else a little another hammock here now I do have about uh, six or seven, so a whole set of these that I'm waiting to put in her new cage, but I just thought I'd put this one because it makes her feel a little bit more secure that something's over her head while she's sitting there. So, um, cause she likes to hide again in nature there, they would be at the top, top canopies of the tree. So they'd have the, the comfort of the height to, to kind of help them. But her being right here, not that high up, you know, it, it would just help her. Um, a little bit better. Okay. Also, as you can see here, um, she does have on a diaper. Um, so um, for the people who've been asking, she usually I usually do have her on diapers in the videos. I tend not to because she, when she puts on a diaper, um, she doesn't really like to 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 walk around in it. Um, but I've now found one that she loves, and it's it's light enough that she could still run and jump and play. It's very crucial at this age. You want to start. Um, definitely diaper training so that they'll be used to it as an adult because if you don't then as an adult they're definitely not gonna allow you to put one on um, so yeah and also you may not be able to see but her her um, adult fur or is starting to come in let's see if I can show you you see that gold right there in the back so that's her adult fur that's starting to come in so she'll start to get her adult coat or I guess um, um, young adult coat because she's a junior now now that she's 12 weeks not quite an adult yet um, But yeah, so it's kind of a cage update. Oh also something else that I added on too. Let me go grab that Okay, I also bought a woods um, timer for 
um, particularly this UVB and UV, UVB. It's a full spectrum bulb, so she's getting all of those um, good um, rays um, because they that's what they need. They need a lot of those, but it's a full spectrum bulb, and I put it on the timer here, which I'll show you over here. Or I'll just show you it's plugged in right there. So the way it works is that, and I can make a video if you guys need me to make, but the way it works is that you press down on the numbers um, that when you want it to sh turn off and you just put pop up these pins like so when you want them to turn on and then you set the time. And so what's great about this is that even if I'm not home, this light will turn on and off to her regular schedule. I also forgot to mention, uh, I will link um, both of these below where I got them from um, so yeah the fountain there and the timer here um, right. also being vocal so yeah I just thought I'd make this video because um, you know people have been asking me so yeah this is really where she sleeps at for the most part she's out about with me during the day. Look, she probably wants to come out now. Come on. You wanna come out? Come on. I think she's shy of the camera. It's okay. But uh, yeah, for the most part, during the day, she's out with me. Here, you can go up there. So, um, she doesn't spend very much time in there. She, um, you know, cause it, with it being as small as it is, you know, she definitely needs more room. So, yeah, this is just a quick cage update. Um, and again, just letting you guys know that um, her bigger cage is down here, her, her adult cage. I haven't set it up yet, and I'm going to be redesigning this this cage um, for the meantime. I have a bunch of like um, things she can hang on, nibble on. Um, it's just a, it's just going to be redesigned, so I'll just save that for another video. So, um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I appreciate the support, all the likes. Are you going to say goodbye? All right. Until next time, I will catch you guys later.